The rhizome has a complete mixer. As we can see, each of the instruments of the loaded song has a dedicated track. Each track, like on a real mixer, has dedicated controls. The name of the loaded VST instruments are displayed in Zone 4, where you also have access to the mute and solo functions. Line 3 is used to enable or disable solos. Each track can also be routed to a different bus. To do this, select the subwindow Track I.O. I have the choice between different buses, the master bus, eight virtual buses, or the physical sound card outputs. For example, I will add samplers on bus 1. To see my track bus, I can switch between the tabs Mix Tracks and Mix Bus. As we can see, the mix bus is receiving the audio signal from the different samplers assigned to it. Each track has three predefined effects. First, an equalizer. I will put an equalizer on the snare and set it to solo in order to listen. This line allows me to select the filter type for the equalizer. The other lines allow me to adjust the gain, the Q, or the frequency. I add 3 dB at 6 kHz. All encoders have an algorithm to fine-tune if you turn slowly and coarse-tune if you turn quickly. I can also increase or decrease the gain. I can enable or disable the EQ. The rhizome also has a compressor. I turn on the compressor for the snare drum. I add a little bit of attack. I lower the release and finally, I set the compression rate and the knee. I also have access to a second parameter page with the tools button. Page 1 and 2 are highlighted, and I can select them by pushing the encoder. I turn off the solo, and I modify the equalizer settings on the snare drum. Finally, we will use the stereo widener. I will apply it on the TB303 sound I soloed. This effect is used for widening the stereo image of a sound signal, or can create a stereo sound from a mono sound.
Each track has six slots for inserts, and you can load VST effects into these slots. For example, I add a delay effect on my TB303. Now I want to add a reverb on my snare drum. I set it to solo, and I select the line where I add the insert. I can also open a second inserts window by pressing tools and selecting the second window. I will stay on the inserts window 1 to 3. I'll add a phaser to my snare drum. I press the button which opens the loading window, and here I have access to all VST effects installed on the rhizome. I choose a phaser VST effect. To access my effect parameters, I have to select the track, then select the line on which my insert is. I then have access to all settings of the VST effect. I'll add another VST effect. I choose the delay effect and I load it. I have access to all effect parameters and I can change them in real time. I turn off the solo. And I change the feedback parameter. So I added two inserts, and they are chained in series. Sound goes through the phaser, and then through the delay. The tracks also have auxiliary sends. For example, I want to send these five tracks to an auxiliary mix. I send them directly like this. Now if I switch back to the mix bus, you can see a part of the signal in Auxiliary 1. I have the same parameters in mix bus as in mix tracks. So I'm going to add a VST effect to the AUX1 track and thus create an effects bus. I open the loading window to load a new VST effect. Access my parameters, I select aux1, then line1. I also have direct access to the parameters on my screen connected to the rhizome. I open the graphical user interface and I will choose another program with the mouse. So I've sent my different sounds in an auxiliary bus. I can go back to the mix track and if I want, change the balance of sounds that I send to the auxiliary. Finally, I will change my routing. For example, I add these two tracks on the second bus and the last four tracks on the third bus. I go back to the mix bus, and we can see I have my three buses that I can mute or unmute. In this lesson, you saw that we can use the rhizome as a real mixer.